Plaid Cymru. Plaid Cymru is a social democratic political party in Wales advocating for Welsh independence from the United Kingdom within the European Union, was formed in 1925 and won its first seat in the UK Parliament in 1966. By 2017 had won of four Welsh seats in the European Parliament, four of 40 Welsh seats in the UK Parliament, 11 of 60 seats in the National Assembly for Wales, and 202 of 1264 principal local authority councillors. Plaid is a member of the European Free Alliance, Platform Plaid Cymru's goals are set out in its constitution are hash to promote the constitutional advancement of Wales with a view to attaining independence within the European Union, hash to ensure economic prosperity, social justice and the health of the natural environment. Based on decentralist socialism, hash to build a national community based on equal citizenship respect for different traditions and cultures and the equal worth of all individuals, whatever their race, nationality, gender, color, creed, sexuality, age, ability, or social background, hash to create a bilingual society by promoting the revival of the Welsh language, hash to promote Welsh contribution to the global community, and to attain membership of the United Nations. In September 2008, a senior assembly member spelled out her party's continuing support for an independent Wales. The Welsh Minister for Rural Affairs, Ellen Jones, kicked off Plaid's annual conference by pledging to uphold the goal of making Wales a European Union member state. She told the delegates in Aberystwyth that the party would continue its commitment to independence under the coalition with the Welsh Labour Party. Beginnings While both the Labour and Liberal parties of the early 20th century had accommodated demands for Welsh Home Rule, no political party existed for the purpose of establishing a Welsh government. Plaid Genedley Thor Cymru was formed on 5 August 1925 by Moses Griffith, H.R. Jones, and Lewis Valentine, members of, and Fred Jones, Saunders Lewis and David Edmund Williams, of Y. Moody Ad Cymraeg. Initially, Home Rule for Wales was not an explicit aim of the new movement. Queeping Wales Welsh speaking took primacy with the aim of making Welsh the only official language of Wales. In the general election of 1929 the party contested its first parliamentary constituency, Carnarvonshire, polling 609 votes, or 1.6% of the vote for that seat. The party contested few such elections in its early years, partly due to its ambivalence towards Westminster politics. Indeed, the candidate Lewis Valentine the party's first president, offered himself in Carnarvonshire on a platform of demonstrating Welsh people's rejection of English dominion. 1930s By 1932 the aims of self-government and Welsh representation at the League of Nations had been added to that of preserving Welsh language and culture. However, this move, and the party's early attempts to develop an economic critique, did not broaden its appeal beyond that of an intellectual and socially conservative Welsh language pressure group. The alleged sympathy of the party's leading members towards Europe's totalitarian regimes compromised its early appeal. Further, in 1936 Lewis David John Williams and Lewis Valentine attacked and set fire to the newly constructed Rath Penibirth Air Base on the Lynn Peninsula in Gwynedd Inn, protested its sighting in the Welsh-speaking heartland. The leader's treatment, including the trial judge's dismissal of the use of Welsh, and their subsequent imprisonment in Wormwood Scrubs, led to the three becoming a cause célèbre. This heightened the profile of the party dramatically and its membership had doubled to nearly 2,000 by 1939. 
1940s. Pennai Birth and Plaid Cymru's neutral stance during the Second World War prompted concerns within the UK government that it might be used by Germany to insert spies or carry out other covert operations. In fact, the party adopted a neutral standpoint and urged conscientious subjection to war service. In 1943 Saunders Lewis contested the University of Wales parliamentary seat at a by-election, gaining 1330 votes, or 22%. In the 1945 general election, with party membership at around 2,500, Plaid Cymru contested seven seats, as many as it had in the preceding 20 years including constituencies in South Wales for the first time. At this time Gwynver Evans was elected president. 1950s And Gwynver Evans. Plaid Cymru's first MP Gwynver Evans' presidency coincided with the maturation of Plaid Cymru into a more recognisable political party. Its share of the vote increased from 0.7% in the 1951 general election to 3.1% in 1955, and 5.2% in 1959. In the 1959 election, the party contested a majority of Welsh seats for the first time. Proposals to drown the village of Cattle Kellen in the Trawarim Valley in Gwynedd in 1957 to supply the city of Liverpool with water played a part in Plaid Cymru's growth. The fact that the parliamentary bill authorising the drowning went through without support from any Welsh MPs showed that the MPs' votes in Westminster were not enough to prevent such bills from passing. 1960s Support for the party declined slightly in the early 1960s, particularly as support for the Liberal Party began to stabilise from its long-term decline. In 1962 Saunders Lewis gave a radio talk entitled Tinged Year Year in which he predicted the extinction of the Welsh language unless action was taken. This led to the formation of Syme Dither's Year Year Jim Raig the same year. Labour's return to power in 1964 and the creation of the post of Secretary of State for Wales appeared to represent a continuation of the incremental evolution of a distinctive Welsh polity. Following the Conservative government's appointment of a Minister of Welsh Affairs in the mid-1950s, and the establishment of Cardiff as Wales capital in 1955, however, in 1966, Less than four months after coming in third in the constituency of Carmarthen, Gwynver Evans sensationally captured the seat from Labour at a by-election. This was followed by two further by-elections in Rhondda West in 1967, and carefully in 1968 in which the party achieved massive swings of 30% and 40% respectively, coming within a whisker of victory. The results were caused partly by an anti-Labour backlash, expectations in coal mining communities that the Wilson government would halt the long-term decline in their industry had been dashed by a significant downward revision of coal production estimates. However, in Carmarthen particularly, Plaid Cymru also successfully depicted Labour's policies as a threat to the viability of small Welsh communities. 1970s In the 1970 general election, Plaid Cymru contested every seat in Wales for the first time, and its vote share surged from 4.5% in 1966 to 11.5%. Gwynver Evans lost Carmarthen to Labour, but regained the seat in October 1974 by which time the party had gained a further two MPs, representing the constituencies of Carnarvon and Merion Ethshire. Plaid Cymru's emergence prompted the Wilson government to establish the Kilbrandon Commission on the Constitution. The subsequent proposals for a Welsh Assembly were, however, heavily defeated in a referendum in 1979. 
Despite Plaid Cymru's ambivalence toward home rule, the referendum result led many in the party to question its direction. At the 1979 general election, the party's vote share declined from 10.8% to 8.1%, and Carmarthen was again lost to Labour. 1980s Carnarvon MP Davith Wigley succeeded Gwynver Evans as president in 1981, inheriting a party whose morale was at an all-time low. In 1981 the party adopted community socialism as a constitutional aim, while the party embarked on a wide-ranging review of its priorities and goals. Gwynver Evans fought a successful campaign to oblige the Conservative government to fulfil its promised to establish S4C, a Welsh-language television station. In 1984 Davith Ellis Thomas was elected president, defeating Davith Wan, a move that saw the party shift to the left. Yuan Wynne Jones captured Arnis Mon from the Conservatives in 1987. In 1989 Davith Wigley once again assumed the presidency of the party. 1990s In the 1992 general election the party added a fourth MP, Sinek Zafis, when he gained Ceredigion and Pembroke North from the Liberal Democrats. Zafis was endorsed by the local branch of the Green Party. The party's vote share recovered to 9.9% .9 at the 1997 general election. In 1997, following the election of a Labour government committed to devolution for Wales, a further referendum was narrowly won, establishing the National Assembly for Wales. Plaid Cymru became the main opposition to the ruling Labour Party, with 17 seats to Labour's 28. In doing so, it appeared to have broken out of its rural Welsh-speaking heartland and captured traditionally strong labour areas in industrial South Wales. First National Assembly, 1999-2003 In the 1999 election Plaid Cymru gained seats in traditional labour areas such as Rhonda, Islwyn, and Lanekli, achieving by far its highest share of the vote in any Wales-wide election. While Plaid Cymru regarded itself as the natural beneficiary of devolution, others attributed its performance in large part to the travails of the Labour Party, whose nomination for Assembly First Secretary, Ron Davies, was forced to stand down in an alleged sex scandal. The ensuing leadership battle won by Alan Michael, did much to damage Labour, and thus aided Plaid Cymru, whose leader was the more popular and higher-profile Davith Wigley. The Labour Party's UK national leadership was seen to interfere in the contest and deny the popular Rodri Morgan victory. Less than two months later, in elections to the European Parliament, Labour support slumped further and Plaid Cymru came within 2.5% of achieving the largest share of the vote in Wales. Under the new system of proportional representation, the party also gained two MEPs. Plaid Cymru then developed political problems of its own. Davith Wigley resigned, citing health problems, but amid rumours of a plot against him, his successor, Yuan Wynne Jones, struggled to impose his authority, particularly over controversial remarks made by a councillor, Simon Glynn. At the same time, Labour leader and First Minister Alan Michael was replaced by Rodri Morgan. In the 2001 general election, notwithstanding Plaid Cymru recording its highest ever vote share in a general election, 14.3%, the party lost Wynne Jonas former seat of Arnis Mon to Albert Owen, although it gained Carmarthen East and Dine FWR, where Adam Price was elected. Second National Assembly, 2003-207 The Assembly elections of May 2003 saw the party's representation drop from 17 to 12, 
with the seats gained in the 1999 election falling again to Labour and the party's share of the vote declining to 21 percent. Plaid Cymru narrowly remained the second largest party in the National Assembly ahead of the Conservatives, Liberal Democrats and Forward Wales. On 15 September 2003 folk singer and County Councillor David Yuan was elected as Plaid Cymru's president. Yuan Win Jones, who had resigned from his dual role as president and assembly group leader following the losses in the 2003 assembly election, was re-elected in the latter role. Elfin Cluid remained the Plaid Cymru leader in the Westminster Parliament. Under Iwan's presidency the party formally adopted a policy of independence for Wales within Europe. The 2004 local election saw the party lose control of the two South Wales councils it gained in 1999, Rhonda Cunnan, Taff and Carefilly, while retaining its stronghold of Gwynedd in the northwest. The results enabled the party to claim a greater number of ethnic minority councillors than all the other political parties in Wales combined, along with gains in authorities such as Cardiff and Swansea, where Plaid Cymru representation had been minimal. In the European Parliament elections of the same year, the party's vote share fell to 17.4%, and the reduction in the number of Welsh MEPs saw its representation reduced to one. In the general election of 5 May 2005, Plaid Cymru lost the Ceredigion seat to the Liberal Democrats. This result was a disappointment to Plaid, who had hoped to gain a Nisman. Overall, therefore, Plaid Cymru's parliamentary representation fell to three seats, the lowest number for the party since 1992. The party's share of the vote fell to 12.6%. In 2006, the party voted constitutional changes to formally designate the party's leader in the Assembly as its overall leader, with Yuan Wynne Jones being restored to the full leadership and Dava Thuan becoming head of the voluntary wing of the party. 2006 also saw the party unveil a radical change of image, opting to use Plaid as the party's name, although Plaid Cymru, the party of Wales, would remain the official title. The party changed its logo in 2006, from the traditional green and red triban used since 1933, to a yellow Welsh poppy. Third National Assembly, 2007-11 In the National Assembly election of 3 May 2007, Plaid Cymru increased its number of seats from 12 to 15, regaining Lanekli, gaining one additional list seat, and winning the newly created constituency of Abaconwy. The 2007 election also saw Plaid Cymru's Mohamed Asghar become the first ethnic minority candidate elected to the Welsh Assembly. The party's share of the vote increased to 22.4%. After weeks of negotiations involving all four parties in the Assembly, Plaid Cymru and Labour agreed to form a coalition government. There agreed, One Wales programme included a commitment for both parties to campaign for a yes vote in a referendum on full law-making powers for the Assembly, to be held at a time of the Welsh Assembly government's choosing. Yuan Wynne Jones was subsequently confirmed as Deputy First Minister of Wales and Minister for the Economy and Transport. Rodrigue Glynn Thomas was appointed Heritage Minister. He later stood down, and Alan Frey Jones took over. Keradigion A.M. Ellen Jones was appointed to the Rural Affairs Brief in the new ten-member cabinet. Jocelyn Davies became Deputy Minister for Housing, and later, Regeneration. In the 2010 general election, Plaid returned three MPs to Westminster. They took part in the Yes for Wales cross-party campaign for the March 2011 referendum. Fourth National Assembly, 2011 to 16. 
In the 2011 National Assembly election Plaid slipped from second place to third, being overtaken by the Welsh Conservative Party and losing its deputy leader Helen Mary Jones. The party held an inquiry into the election result. The internal investigation led to the adoption of wide-ranging changes to its constitution, including a streamlining of the leadership structure. In May 2011, Yuan Wyn Jones announced he would stand down as leader within the first half of the assembly term. A leadership election was held in which three candidates eventually stood, Ellen Jones, Dabith Ellis Thomas and Leanne Wood. Simon Thomas withdrew his candidacy before ballots were cast. On 15 March 2012, Plaid Cymru elected Leanne Wood as its new leader. She received 55% of the vote, over second place Dallin Jones with 41%. She is the first female and the first non-fluent Welsh speaker. Soon after Wood's election as leader, she appointed former MP Adam Price to head an economic commission for the party, focused on bringing together tailor-made policies in order to transform our economy. On 1 May 2012 it was confirmed Leanne Wood would not be taking the £23,000 pay increase that every other party leader in the Assembly receives. On 12 November 2012, Wood announced she would be abandoning her relatively safe list seat to stand in a constituency. At the 2016 National Assembly elections, she later confirmed she would contest the Ronda. Adam Price was subsequently selected as the party's candidate for Carmarthen East and Dyne FWR. Lindsay Whittle confirmed he would contest the Carefully constituency. On 20 June 2013, former party leader Yuan Wyn Jones stood down from the Assembly as the member for Unismon. Plaid Cymru's candidate Reen Apulworth was elected as the new Assembly member for the constituency, receiving 12,601 votes with a majority of 9,166 over the Labour candidate. Fifth National Assembly, 2016-present Following the 2016 Welsh Assembly elections, having gained one seat Plaid Cymru became the Assembly's second-largest party and briefly became the official opposition to the Welsh Government with 12 seats. Plaid Cymru currently has 11 Assembly members. Following David Ellis Thomas's resignation from the party in 2016, Indeb credit Plaid Cymru Indeb credit Plaid Cymru Credit Union Limited is a savings and loans cooperative established for party members in 1986. Based in Roth, Cardiff, it is a member of the Association of British Credit Unions Limited. The credit union is authorised by the Prudential Regulation Authority and regulated by the Financial Conduct Authority and the PRA. Ultimately, like the banks and building societies, Member savings are protected against business failure by the Financial Services Compensation Scheme. Local councillors 202 councillors in local government elected in 2008. They form the Plaid Cymru Councillors Association. European Free Alliance Plaid retains close links with the Scottish National Party, with both parties' MPs cooperating closely with one another. They work as a single parliamentary group within Westminster, and were involved in joint campaigning during the 2005 general election campaign. Both Plaid and the SNP, along with Mebby and Kerno of Cornwall, are members of the European Free Alliance a pan-European political party for regionalist, autonomist, and pro-independence political parties across Europe. The EFA cooperates with the larger European Green Party to form the Greens European Free Alliance, political group in the European Parliament. Thank you for watching. 
Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.